Thanks for joining us today at Lighthouse Outreach Ministries. We're lighting the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, listen today as Pastor Green shares some biblical truths that will shine upon the true light, Jesus Christ. Well, I appreciate y'all inviting us, me and my family, inviting God, first of all, and my family here this morning. And I'm going to tell you what God sent me here to tell I was in the hospital in November, the 29th of November. I just got the coughing, and before I went to the hospital, though, I was at home, and I got the coughing, and I couldn't quit coughing. And my children, they come to the house and see about me and carried me to the hospital, and I had got my heart messed up. And then they gave me some medicine, and it messed my lungs up, trying to straighten that out. Then they gave me some breathing medicine, so that triggered everything. But anyway, God was in control of every bit of it, every bit of it. So they admitted me and put me in ICU. Hallelujah. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. And they put me in ICU. And I spent the night there. And the nurses told my girls that they could go on home. They would watch me that night. I was doing good. So they went home. But Angel come back the next morning and check on me. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the nurses told her that they could go on about their business, that I was doing good that night, and they would watch me. So Annie Jo left. Praise God. Praise God. And I drifted back off to sleep like you normally will. But in just a little bit, I could feel the nurses. I said it was nurses. It was probably angels. But they was messing with the IVs in my arm. I said, what are y'all doing? They said, just shh, shh, be quiet, do what we tell you to do. I said, well, what's going on? They said, shh, shh, just be quiet, do what we tell you to do. And about that same time, there was a fog covered me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord said to me, he said, say the 23rd Psalms. I said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. Yea, will I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff will they comfort me. Hallelujah. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, he said, go back to the dark valley. I said, yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. And uh, immediately there appeared a big black tunnel thing in front of me. Well, I didn't know what it was, but I knew God was in control, whatever it was. And then I went in that tunnel. Oh, it was black. It was a dark hole. But I was still not afraid. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I began to drift through that thing, y'all. It was just like a clock a ticking. Tick, tick. And I come out over here on the right hand side. And when I did, I looked up and I was in heaven, y'all. Woo! I was in heaven. I know where I was at. Oh, I know where I was at. Woo! There was no fear. I know where I was at. God said to me immediately, He said, Go tell my people, hallelujah, there are a heaven and a hell to get ready. I'm coming quickly. You do not judge. Go tell my people, hallelujah, there are a heaven and a hell, but I'm coming quickly. You do not judge. I said, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. He said, sing this song. I climbed the highest mountain. I went in the darkest hill. Hallelujah. But all of this was worth it. (laughs) Woo! For serving in God's will. I've watched the angels come and take our loved ones home to stay. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. 
but I got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. There's golden streets to walk upon and bells are going to ring. Brand new angels in that choir and I'm going to hear them sing. There'll be a lot of friends waiting. When I go through that gate, I got more to go to heaven for than I had yesterday. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. And I was just shouting. I was having a wonderful time, y'all. I knew I had been to heaven and back. And directly, I don't know how long it was went on that I was just shouting. It seemed like an hour. I don't know. But it wasn't. But the doctor finally walked in. And he backed up against the wall. Hallelujah. Ooh, and he braced himself. I said, Dr. Stanfield, you like not to had me, but God sent me back. He said, Miss Bowden, you are right. You died, but God has got you here in this hospital on a mission. This hospital belongs to you and God while you are here. And you obey him, whatever he says do, you do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> praise God. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> and I was in the ICU for two days. They never closed the door. They never said, get quiet. They just walking, going and coming from everywhere. Please sing to me. Please tell me what God told you. And it was over and over and over, day and night, for the two days down there. Oh. Then when they sent me to the other floor, it was the same way for six days. They were doctors and nurses, people, whatever. It didn't matter. I, was, you know, I couldn't quit shouting and couldn't quit praising. Oh, Lord. It was so wonderful. It, and it's still wonderful. I just praise God for it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That song that it happened at the hospital, but when the girls put this on the internet and I began to go to to uh, churches, they asked me to sing some songs, and I prayed to the Lord, was it all right to put the songs in with this? And He led me to four songs, and I would like to sing them if y'all would like to hear them. Woo! Like praise God! Hallelujah! Woo! This one's one drop. When the man of Galilee hung upon a cruel tree, he was dying for sinners like me. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. As the blood came dripping down from the cross unto the ground, there was one drop he shed just for me. Just for me and the sins of my soul. Just to cleanse me and make me free and whole. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As the blood was dripping down from the cross onto the ground. There was one drop he shed just for me. <clears throat> As they pierced his precious side, Oh, forgive them now, he cried. Hallelujah. 
There was pardon extended for me as the blood and water came. <laughs> Glory to his wonderful name. There was one drop he shed just for me. Just for me and the sins of my soul. Hallelujah. Woo! 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 Just to cleanse me and make me free and whole. As the blood was dripping down from the cross onto the ground, there was one drop. He shed just for me. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but that, that blood was shed for us all, just that one drop. Woo! This one's secret place. My heart is like a house. One day I let the Savior in. There were many rooms where we'd visit now and then. But then one day he saw that door. Hallelujah. <laughs> I knew that day had come too soon. I said, Jesus, I'm not ready for us to visit in that room. Because there's a place in my heart. Where even I don't go, I have some things hidden there. I don't want no one to know. But he handed me the key with tears of love on his face. He said, I want to make you clean. Let me in your secret place. <clears throat> And then he opened up the door, hallelujah, as the two of us walked in. I was so ashamed, my light revealed the hidden sin. But when I think about that room now, I'm not afraid anymore. Because I know my hidden sin no longer hides behind that door. Praise the Lord. There was a place in my heart where even I wouldn't go. Hallelujah. I had some things hidden there. I didn't want no one to know. But he handed me the key with tears of love on his face. He made me clean. I led him in my secret place. <clears throat> Is there a place in your heart where even you won't go? You have some things hidden there. You don't want no one to know. Well, he's handing you the key with tears of love on his face. He says, I want to make you clean. Let me in your secret place. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is sheltered in the arms of God. I feel the touch of hands so kind and gentle. They're leading me in paths that I must trod. I have no fear when Jesus walks beside me, for I'm sheltered in the arms of God. So let the storm clutch high, the dark clouds rise, they won't weary me, for I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He walks with me, and not a birth can harm me. For I'm sheltered in the arms of God. <clears throat> Soon I shall hear the call from heaven's portals. Come home, my child. 
is the last smile you must draw. I'll fall asleep and wake in God's new heaven. Shelter safe within the arms of God. So let the storm rage high, the dark clouds rise. They won't weary me, for I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, and no the birth can harm me. Sheltered safe within the arms of God. Sheltered safe within the arms of God. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> if we're sheltered in God's arms, we've got nothing to, nothing to worry about. He's going to take care. He's going to see about it. This is look for me. <laughs> If I leave this world of sorrow sometime before you do, just look for me in heaven and we'll talk the ages through. But if at first you fail to see me, let me tell you where I'll be. I'll be thinking Christ my Savior for saving a rich like me. Don't look neath the gates of pearl. Don't look on the streets of gold. Hallelujah. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Don't look by the walls of Jasper, nor among the many sights untold. For I've been longing and waiting <clears throat> for the precious Holy One to meet. There'll be through the countless ages, look for me at Jesus' feet. But if you should reach that city before, before my time has come, perhaps you'd like to greet me when my race down here is run. Just wait for I'll soon be coming. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Across life's LBC, and I'll tell you now, my brother, just where to wait for me. Don't wait neath the gates of pearl, don't wait on the streets of gold. Don't wait by the walls of Jasper, hallelujah, nor among the many sights untold. For I've been longing and waiting for the precious Holy One to meet. There'll be through the countless ages, look for me at Jesus' feet. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now that's all. If anything anybody wants to ask me, I'll tell you whatever I can. But yeah. Okay. I didn't see the Lord. I just saw glory. I just saw heaven. That's all I saw. His voice was just like me and you. How long were you passed out of this body into the spirit and before you came back in? Oh, uh, <coughs> I was uh, already had a scheduled <coughs> to go see Dr. Gwen for just a checkup. Now, this doctor at the hospital, he didn't say. He just told me that I did die, and that was it. And uh, so when I went to see Dr. Gwen, uh, he picked it up on my pacemaker. 
me and my daughter that went with me, we wasn't going to say anything, see what he found out. He come in the room and he was smiling. And <clears throat> he looked at me and he said, you think I need to sit down? I said, well, now that's up to you. He said, what do you want me to do? I said, what you want to do? He said, I ask you, do you want me to sit down? I said, yes, sir, just have a seat. <laughs> that sounds rich, don't it? So I got to, I t went through the whole witness, every bit of it, and told him about it. And uh, he told me, he said, you did die. And uh, told me what time and everything. He said, huh? Mm -hmm. He didn't, he didn't. I don't remember. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I don't know. But uh, he said when I walked in, he said, he said when I walked in, I knew you wasn't here. That was an angel sitting there. He said, I knew that when I looked at you. But that was everywhere, <coughs> and I really didn't know how to comprehend, you know, all that, you know. And I had I prayed, I always prayed, and uh, I was just wasn't getting the answer that I wanted from all this. That I was, my soul had done gone to heaven, but God sent this angel back down here for the work that He had done. Doctor Gwen said, "I'm telling you." You've got work to do. You've not finished it. He said, that's it. And uh, so I was at home praying, and one of my daughters was with me, and uh, she carried me some clothes to the bedroom for me to fold up, and I just kept praying. I said, Lord, you've always given me peace and what I needed. And I said, I'm willing for everything, but i got to have some peace, Lord. He spoke to me just like me and you. He said, I give breath, and I take breath. And there was a wind easily slept across the front of me. Hallelujah. Amen. That was it. Amen. And this singing and everything, I always love to sing, but I'd be a little nervous. But No more. <laughs> God is in it. He's, he's ahead of it. He's there. And I just want to be at his will. Yes, you are. Yeah. Didn't I tell that? Yeah. 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 That was, it's a short message, but it's powerful. <clears throat> but when he said, you do not judge, you know, that's. So I'm just doing what God told me to do. Everywhere I can tell it, if well, I've been in Dr. Gwynn's office, and there's somebody I've heard and didn't hear it, and tell me, tell me, tell me, over and over and over and over again. It's, it's just wonderful, y'all. But now I have... Uh, I didn't see the Lord this time, I was telling you, but I have, he have helped me in his arms. You want me to tell you that? Yeah, tell us that. <coughs> You've got time, I've got, that's all I've got. <laughs> uh, we had planned, my mama, a birthday party. I guess it'll all go together, but anyway, uh, that m m uh, morning my husband went to work early and I laid down back down on the couch to take a nap. And uh, God come to me in a vision. And uh, so I was praying to him. And the vision was that we had been to Mama's house to plan the birthday party. And we was coming back. <coughs> and I was told Annie Jo that I would come with her. And come on to Annie Jo's house and, uh, and go on that way. So I didn't 
whatever it was, I didn't know the details till we got to the hospital. And she said, Mama, I got to go on home. I said, well, just put me off here at the hospital and I'll walk on home. I had about a mile or two to walk, but that was okay. I know God was gonna go with me. And we was walking down the side of the road. I crossed the road and got on the other side of the road where no cars would hit me. And I was walking on down the road, singing and praying like I always do. And uh, I come to a bush. And uh, thank you, sir. And <clears throat> it was a little dogwood tree. But I could hear the leaves quickling, quiddling in that tree. And I looked up and I just pray and I said, Lord, I know you're in that tree, but where are you? I just look and I keep saying, Lord, they just go all the way around that tree and come back and start again. I said, I know you're in that tree, but where are you, Lord? I want to see you so bad. I want to see you so bad. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And then all at once, he just come down out of that tree stood right there at me. He said, here I am, my child. Here I am. And I, oh, Lord, I just fainted away in the spirit, and he caught me. Oh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. And then we could, uh, he was standing there with me in his arms, and we could hear voices coming. But I didn't see anybody. It was angels, I know. But anyway, he said, my child, we must be going. We must be going. So he eased me back to the ground. Oh, it was so pretty. <laughs> and he eased me back down to the ground. Then I got a good look at him. He was dressed. He had a robe on. And he had a white collar, about this white, around his neck. And it was so white it would hurt your eyes. To me, that meant we got to be that pure and white to enter the kingdom of God, y'all. And so he eased me to the dirt, <clears throat> and he said, My child, we must be going. And we walked on up the hill of peace. And he looked at me. He said, I've got to leave you now, but I will be back. And he went up, and he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back, y'all. And I told my children, I've told them about this time and time. <laughs> but there's another one. I'll tell you that to go with this one. <clears throat> so I was at a, pl at a place. That, uh, I, he was, I was telling you how he was dressed. He had hair about the shoulder length. He did not have a beard. This Jesus I saw did not have a beard. <clears throat> now people have said they seen him other ways, but this one that I saw, he had a clean face, and his hair was right along there. <laughs> but uh, I was in another vision with him, and it was a lot of people there, and he walked up to me, and he reached out and he took my hand, and he said, come. And about the same time, Jacob's letter appeared before us. And he said, come. <clears throat> and we walked up that stair, y'all, to heaven. Now, I went in heaven then. I saw what that part of heaven looked like. He, when we got in the door, the big it was just a big opening. Beautiful. Oh, it was, the lights were so bright that you couldn't see. It was just wonderful. But when we got in, he said, come. So we went and walked around, and we got over to some beautiful flowers. Oh, they were pretty. He looked at me, he said, this is your home, this is where you gonna live. And I went to cry. I said, Jesus, can I go back? I got friends and I've got loved ones that still don't know you, that are not ready to come to this heaven, and I want everybody here. And he turned and said, come. And we walked back down them, that ladder. 
And from that distance till now, I've said that I'm, he's left me here to do my work, and I'm still doing it. And I want to do it until he call, takes me on home. I told my children, I said, now the span from here on, we don't know how long it's going to be, but anyway, I want everybody to be ready to go home to meet God. We, he don't want nobody. There are heaven and a hell made, but he don't want nobody to go to hell. That's why I'm here this morning. That's why he to come to give me this vision. And if they one of you here that just don't feel like you would be ready to go if he took us away, just make that as your decision before you leave because we don't know what many that's going to happen. We hope you were blessed by today's message. For more messages, to contact us, send your prayer request, or to make donations to support this outreach ministry, go to lighthouseoutreach.org or download our app on iTunes, Google, or any Android device. If you're ever in our area, we invite you to visit us at 9437 West U.S. Highway 84, about seven miles west of Ross Clark Circle in Dothan, Alabama.